Hi, I'm Fern from the Isle of Man. I'm Dominic from Australia. I'm Amy from the Isle of Man. Hi, I'm Sam, also from the Isle of Man. I'm Rachel from Australia. And I'm Adam, also from the Isle of Man. And we are Team Mad Max. We are driving to Greece to raise money for two amazing charities, the Children's Centre and Manx Children's Art Therapy, and also to put the Manx flag on the map. We started on the Isle of Man and we've been to England, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, Germany, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Austria, Italy, Slovenia, Bosnia, and we are now in Croatia. We still have to go to Montenegro, Kosovo, Macedonia, Albania, and finally we finish in Greece where we will have a huge party to celebrate. Life on the road can be quite challenging at times. As we are experiencing a heat wave at the moment, we found that covering a car in fur probably isn't the best idea, especially because they don't have air conditioning. Um, it, yeah, I'm, I'm from Australia and I'm, I'm struggling to be stuck in, in a car that is just full of fur. It's like <laughs> a, an oven inside there. It is an oven inside there. We're also finding that we're having to leave really early, so we're constantly catching up. And sleep, not really having a chance to get those eight hours of sleep, can be quite tiring at times. Finding a place to stay every night as well. You know, sometimes we don't really know where we're going until the night before. We're having to kind of quickly plan something um, and figure out what time we'd roughly get there. But we kind of, we've been managing it so far. We've been camping for eight days and the last three nights, because it just got so hot, we're just um, staying in air con departments, which has been heaven, especially because it means we've had warm showers as well. The heat has basically been destroying all of our food <laughs> so uh, that was a bit of a curveball because we planned to uh, to cook food and to have our own food quite a bit but um, that's not possible because everything just spoils so yeah uh, we're, we're, we're definitely eating new food every day um, yeah a, a lot of menus <laughs> don't even have it in English I think another one is the different currencies as well that we've had to kind of negotiate um, and remembering where we've been because it's just sometimes you just can't remember exactly which countries you've been in and what's happened the day before. Yeah, everything is blurring into one. It's like a, a big dream. A big dream. A big dream. <laughs> uh, each country has a different style of driving. There's a lot, lot of unwritten codes which uh, you're not aware of until you are changing from one country to another is um, just completely different. Um, yeah, we've basically been a completely disoriented mess. <laughs> it's, it's great, it's, it's constant delirium. Yeah, constant delirium. Yeah. Fed by not eating and not no sleeping, but are we having a good time? Yeah. Yay! Yay. <laughs> yeah. The highlights definitely are driving through places that we wouldn't normally see. Such as the Isle of Man for me, <laughs> being an Australian. Yeah, it's been great to have you there, Dom. Oh, so, thank you. <laughs> um, seeing the cultures just blend together so seamlessly, but also change, sometimes you've seen them change so quickly as well, but the different types of architecture and the way that people kind of build their homes as well has been really, really amazing. Um, just the interactions that we've had with people from different countries has been incredible. Um, yeah. It's been such a warm welcome, especially from uh, children just running over and lots of lots of people asking very, very kindly if they can touch our car, which we usually respond to like, yes, give it a cuddle. And it's really lovely to see them give a cuddle to a car. It's pretty funny to see. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. It's been just, they've just been, the cars have just been met with warmth and excitement. Um, and that's been a massive high, I think. It's definitely helped with the morale being so welcomed everywhere we go. Yeah. I mean, everyone's getting along fine. We have sticks of destiny every morning. So we have a stick deciding who will be in which car, which has been really, really helpful um, just to mix things up every day. Yeah, otherwise, otherwise you just get stuck with the same person. And that, that, that can be terrible sometimes. <laughs> that, that's also why we have two cars. Um, when someone hasn't eaten for a while and they get really grumpy, we can isolate them and um, <laughs> put them in a separate car. It's great. 
We really help each other out, though. I think we've have a have a we all have low moments and we all have high moments, and we just know when someone needs a bit more support than others, and that's what I think makes us a really good team. Um, sometimes you just need to make a sandwich for somebody. Lots yeah. of crisps and car snacks and chips. Yeah, <laughs> How is the car coping? Well, both cars, I think seem to be the mor- their morale the car's morale seems to be getting lower and lower each day we've definitely had some issues with the exhaust but we haven't broken down yet have N- we no we've actually been really lucky um we haven't broken down but um we've had a lot of warning signs <laughs> and we've had a lot of uh the cars just kind of giving up especially going up hills we've had some very very steep um turns yep. and unexpected journeys which were very, very, very difficult for the car. Yeah, going up some 50 degree inclines yesterday in Bosnia was quite interesting, but we're super proud of the Red Rooster and the Pink Panther. They're managing it really, really well. Covering a car in fluff, I think at the time was a really good idea, but as the trip's gone on, we've realized actually how much it doesn't help with the current heat wave that we've got. But in saying that, it's definitely got us out of a few sticky situations, definitely helped us streamline free borders. Um, So many positive interactions. It's really sensory as well, so really helps the cause of what we're trying to raise money for. Um, Lots of children and lots of excitement um, and kind of a sense of offering fluffy therapy as we breeze through these countries yeah it's been really good um i love that it catches people off guard and yeah they really haven't seen anything like it before it kind of just stops them in their tracks and takes them out from what they're doing at the current time so you can follow us on facebook or on instagram as team mad manx and there's a link to our donation page there as well so we're trying to raise as much money as possible for the children's center and for manx children's art therapies two amazing charities which really really are a great support and in much and provide much needed assistance to the isle of man's community we can't be more prouder to support these both causes I've never been